everybody, welcome to another Roscoe Retro Reviews, continuing on our NES games and uh, really trying out our NES Mini that we recently got. We just did a uh, video, we've been doing videos. So right now we're gonna go ahead and do Contra. Oh my God, up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA. Dirty man code. If it wasn't for that Konami code, man. Oh my God. But um, ever since we got the Mini, I've been practicing, 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 practicing. I've gotten good again, I believe. Um, so I'm gonna try to do the best I can without losing too many guys, which is almost impossible in this thing. Um, but I've gotten pretty good again. So we're gonna go play another NES classic. Whoever doesn't know about Contra and had an NES was is not a true gamer. I mean, this is a classic. So we're gonna go ahead and play the classic Contra on the NES, on the NES, and on the NES Mini. Uh, I'm gonna do it without a code, guys. Who doesn't remember that? No. Da, 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 da. Let's play some Contra. Alright, here we go. Uh, Contra, what, what can you really not say? What can you say about Contra that has not already been said? The whole series is awesome, it's action packed, but I can tell you one thing it is the one hit cheap death <laughs> monster. I mean, um, this series right here was just. It was so addictive because of the action to it and the fact that I can play with my brother back when it was released and um, an NES classic for sure um, but action packed a lot of shooting a lot of jumping oh my god there was there's a there's a board here that the the jumps just just oh my god it just stressed me out um, I would dream of, of you know have nightmares of those jumps but um, uh, um, me and my brother together would play this and we got really really good at it and it was just uh, one thing that I can honestly tell you that I found to be the game. The spray is the best weapon you can possibly, possibly have. Um, it, the way it comes out, it, it just spreads completely uh, wide, so it would get, um, it would catch a lot of the enemies on the board. As you can see, there's also um, the uh, there's also that that icon that I hit that makes me uh, glow uh, blue and red. It's kind of like a a, uh, uh, a temporary uh, a, a temporary shield that you can't get injured on, um, that you can't get hurt. But it's only temporary, so you can't get yourself too excited about having it because guess what happens? Then you it goes away and then you you lose a guy. But how can you not discuss one thing about this series? Uh, as you can see right here, I'm playing the, pretty much the same boss as the other as the other uh, stage. The only difference is that they had the uh, robots that were coming out and uh, assisting with the shooting. But um, what can you not? How can you not mention the Konami code when you're talking about Contra? Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, at the intro scene. Uh, intro. Uh, picture when, when you start the game that gives you that 30 man code and that code I mean without that me and my brother definitely would not have been able to do much on this um, there's also like certain different places that you can notice there's certain areas that you can actually stand that the enemies can't hit you as you can see right there the tank was shooting at me but as long as I stood close to that corner right there um, he couldn't hit me which was pretty good but as you can see I'm trying to keep this uh, the spray gun as much as possible because that's the one right there that's saving me. Here's that board that gave me nightmares. This board gave me nightmares. Um, they, they they brought this back again in um, uh, Alien Wars. I mean, my God, what a what a this gave me nightmares. Um, but what can you not say about Contra? Again, it, it just to me it it, it, it was and it was one of those games that was so so addictive but at this, as you can see I'm the glowing right now with the red and blue again you can't get touched you're pretty much like invulnerable right there for a very temporary amount of time um, me and my brother um, played this and played it and played it and played it we did not rely on the game gene uh, code back then and I don't, I don't even remember if they even had any uh, uh, um, you know a, a, a code in there that you can't get hurt like a god mode I don't recall that um, but I know the 30 man code is what helped us and um, we were able to get far and play the game and actually beat it after a while but it, it, it's just a, such an addictive addictive game but you gotta be careful where you're jumping you gotta be careful not to grab certain things as you can see I already lost the spray gun previously um, this is clips again of my gameplay uh, but uh, I lost the spray gun so I now I'm having the machine gun 
Um, awesome, awesome game, man. I'm just, I'm just getting caught up right now at the graphics of the game, too, for its time. 1988, when this game was released, the graphics, I mean, the NES was awesome, man. The NES was awesome. And, and no wonder they took over the, the, the game market back then, because their gameplay, the games were awesome. Um, the games were awesome. The, 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 uh, uh, addiction to the the graphics, the sounds, um, just everything about it. The NES was just awesome, and Contra is just one of those games that is so memorable for me and my brother, man. I remember us staying up a whole weekend. We didn't even go outside. It was nice outside. I think it was like a spring day, but it was a weekend, and we did not go outside. We spent the whole weekend playing Contra, and we still didn't beat it. We still did not beat it. We had to take breaks and stuff like that. We still did not beat it, and the uh, um, uh, luckily for us, the NES didn't act up that that time because it was kind of painful. We were afraid to actually turn off the machine because if we would have turned it off, maybe it would have got the glitch and it would have had to been blowing it. But as you can see, I just defeated it, uh, just beat the game. Um, <coughs> as you can see, it was the mother alien in the island. Gives you a nice little ending. You really felt like you accomplished something when you beat Contra. You really, really feel like you accomplished something because of how difficult the game was, how uh, um, how addictive the, addictive the game was. Everybody talked about Contra when it came out. All my friends, um, everybody was playing the NES had Contra. And after this, you know, then you started playing other games like Double Dribble. I love that basketball game. Um, the Turtles games. And of course, the Mario Brothers. Super Mario Brothers was awesome to me too. But, um... This game right here was just really, really awesome. Fun, fun game. I'm a big, big fan of the NES. And of course, Contra is a big part of the NES uh, history of the NES, especially in 1988 when it came out. The game was awesome. Um, there were other games that came out too at the time, like Akari Warriors. I'll probably do a video of that. That was addictive also, uh, Commando. Um, but Contra just has a special place for us. We're really, really big fans of this. and. Um, I'm just happy that I have a chance to at least share uh, how I feel about it. And I hope everybody, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And um, keep on looking. We're going to have some more videos coming soon. And as always, keep it retro. When you get hold of the Nintendo Entertainment System, when you master Rob the Video Robot, Meet the challenge of Gyromite. When you shoot the light sensing zapper, when you play the system with so many arcade hits, you're playing with power. The Nintendo Entertainment System Deluxe Set. Batteries not included, Super Mario Brothers, and other games sold separately.